hey guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you are just joining us please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you it's no longer in news that majority of nigerians are not happy with the outcome of the presidential election results that produced the bola may tunubu as uh, they are saying that the the may 29th inauguration should not Nigerians, this has been causing a lot of, you know, controversies here and there. Meanwhile, the federal government of Nigerians have vowed that the inauguration must hold. And the Nigerian military as well, Nigerian DSS, they said no one should. No one should try anything to disrupt the inauguration of Bola Metinubu on the 29th of May 2023. A video of some irate Muslim and Christian women crossing Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and praying against the presidency of the newly elected Bola Ahmed Tinubu is currently generating conflicting reactions. The video was posted on Tuesday by legendary Nigerian artists. Charlie Boy on his social media account. The video shows both Christian and Muslim ladies praying in Abuja for God to restore Peter Obi's mandate through the court. Twitter user Ezemenem responded, writing, Seeing even Muslims join Christians in this prayer is great. God takes action. In the midst of this, American President Joe Biden on Monday reviewed the group that would attend Tinubu's inauguration. Record that the inauguration of Bola May Tinubu has received invitations from no less than 67 foreign leaders, including head of state. On May 29, at Eagle Square, Abuja, the president-elect will take the oath of office as the 16th president of Nigeria. The upcoming swearing-in of the president-elect Bola Tinubu on May 29, according to Atiku Abubakar, a former vice president and contender for president of the People's Democratic Party, okay, in the general elections of 2023, is a, a ritual that cannot bind the court. Chris Uche San, Atiku's lead attorney, said the court had the authority to remove Tinubu from office even after he has been sworn in. This came shortly after the presidential election petition court in Abuja consolidated the PDP standard bearer's petition with those filed by the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and the Allied uh, People's Movement. He indicated that a day after Tinubu was sworn in, the hearing on the consolidated petitions would start. When questioning about May 29, Uche said, I want to reassure Niger uh, Nigerians that swearing in is merely a formality and does not in any way bind the court's hands. The individual who takes the oath, not the court, is bound by the oath. You have been informed of the court's deadlines for parties to deliver their cases. We are pleased that the development will result in a, a swift decision on the petitions. Please, Christ, which, please, Christ, which is stop causing more havoc to Nigerians. How old are you now? Since the history of Nigeria, which president has been impeached by the court? Do not raise the mind of Nigerians on things that are impossible. Just forget about Bola Tinubu is Nigerian president in 2030. You don't need to cause him. Let's just question. Have, have you ever seen any incumbent president? How, are you God or you own his life in your pan? Even, okay, sorry, I can't get that. These are reactions from Nigerians. So you see, majority of Nigerians are 
really not sure about this court case. They are saying that once Bola met Tinubu is sworn in as the president elect, the Nigerians should forget about the court case because nothing good will come out from it. And that is why they are saying it would have been better if the court decide this issue, they should. Sorry about that. That the court should give verdicts on this very case before, you know, the inauguration. You see, and this is what you get when you have you have actually moved out from your original place. Nigerians do not see uh, Nigerian judiciary giving them a just verdict because all their own are like, I beg now the same thing when then they do before. Why can't we do the needful? Why can't we just change this narrative and uh, let the world know that it's not going to be business as usual? You see, for people to be praying against someone's inauguration, that means something went wrong. And that is what we should be asking ourselves. What actually happened in that presidential election? Was Bola Metunubu, you know, uh, chosen by Nigerians? Is he Nigerians' choice? We should be asking ourselves these questions because we, we have never witnessed this kind of controversy in this country since the inception of democracy, say a president elect, you know, was announced. People just they talk left, right, and center, and all that. May they not swear an in, you know, qualify, you know, win election. You get cases of a uh, drug case and all that. Well, make we see how it goes. Like as I said, President Mamadou Buhari has vowed that whether or whatever, he is going to hand over office to Bola Ahmed Tunubu. On May 29. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comments.